you talk about pain. Now, I know a lot of people have been through some things. People have been through marriage situations where they were hurt. This spouse has hurt me so deeply. People have been in other relationships. My brother, my sister, my aunt, my uncle, my dad, my mom, whoever, really hurt me. They said something when I was seven, and I still remember it. And we hold that, and we like to say, I'm a victim, and I hurt because I'm a victim, and we focus on ourselves and that we're the victim. If anybody could focus, besides Jesus, if there's a human who could have focused on being a victim, we're looking at him right now. Job was a victim, not by one, not by a few, but by all. The pain in his heart had to be so bad, and yet we saw in chapter 42, come into my house and feast with me. Forgiveness and restoration. Not only do I say I forgive you, I restore you to my table. Jesus Christ didn't only forgive us, he restored us to fellowship with God the way Adam was created to be, and he adopted us as his children, and we will feast at the table of God forever, forever, because of forgiveness and restoration that comes through Jesus Christ. What about the pain in our hearts? What about the people who have wronged us? What are we focusing on? What did Job focus on? This was back at chapter 19. We don't know the length of time that Job was in this trial, but it probably was quite a length of time to sit alone, to suffer alone, not to have somebody waiting on you, your own servant. You had to beg to come and help you wife has turned against you. She's repulsed by you. Your family says you're detestable. Your closest friends detest you. Everybody rejects you. And Job prays for his friends for forgiveness and welcomes them to the table. I don't know what you're going through, but I'll tell you one thing. God's word is true. When you forgive when you truly forgive and not just forgive but restore because we'll say I forgive but we still talk about it to other people yeah let me tell you what what my wife did to me let me tell you what my husband did let me tell you what dad did when I was little let me tell you what mom did let me tell you why I'm in this situation I've had pain I'm a victim you don't hear Job saying that everything that you've been through was by design Everything that touches your life, and I'm not saying God brings trouble, but he brings good through the trouble. Everything is to shape us. Everything makes us. Everything is our crucible. My wife and I, when two of our sons at different times went down to Paris Island to be Marines, they're only allowed to call us when they first get there, and good thing, because if they called us again, parents would be irate. <laughs> You see what they go through, and then you finally go down for graduation, and you look for your child, and they look like a skeleton. <laughs> They've lost so much weight. And they'll say, they just finished the crucible, 56 hours, where they're not allowed to sleep. They're outside, and it was cold some of the time. They're out there crawling through water, crawling under ammo, crawling out through all obstacle courses, and they deliberately are pushed to the limit you will not sleep, you will not eat, you will keep on marching, you will keep on crawling, you will keep on fighting for all these days with no sleep, and that's called the crucible. And if you can make that, you can be a Marine. Well, guess what? There's crucibles in the Christian life, and the crucibles aren't here to destroy us. The trials of life that come along, God works for good. God doesn't bring trouble in our lives. God on the cross has paid for all that we need and he protects us but do we not face trials are we not persecuted do we not have people insult us ridicule us reject us abandon us and that pain jesus feels and that pain jesus understands and his power in us not by might not by power but by my spirit says the lord his spirit in us 
helps us to forgive and restore those who have hurt us the most. And when we do, our captivity has changed. Those sleepless nights of battling in your mind with that person, who's right and who's wrong or whatever, all that captivity goes away when we truly forgive and restore.